Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Game Over Go Command. Welcome back to Gears of War Ultimate Edition. And, uh... Oh, finally, after after two days of, like, technical so problems... Going, Taft Gas Station, corner F Street and 13. There's gonna be a lot of locusts between here and there. Shit, you got that right. You need to hit our checkpoints for some ammo. The first one's by the river. So if I was your ass, I'd get my ass over there pronto. You dig? Um... Yeah, I was having a lot of technical problems yesterday. Still getting used to this new recording software, but I seem to have it all sorted out now. And thankfully, this game has checkpoints. I mean, a, a chapter select. So picking the um, picking the correct chapter and replaying it when the audio was shit. It was an option it's which late. let's find that checkpoint. Wasn't an option with uh, a lot of other games I've played in the past. I very much appreciate when games have chapters. Like this. Okay. I really love this section of the game coming up. This is, uh, Nightfall is one of my favorite chapters in Gears. There's some pretty tough encounters in this part of the game, but... Um... There's also some stuff in here that's just really... Oh, snap! Oh, that felt good. Oh, so clean. So fresh, so clean. Oh, there's another one of yours. I didn't, didn't see you there. And goodbye. Uh, there's some really interesting, fun stuff in this chapter of the game, I find. There's a, it introduces a, a new, like, mechanic. Like, oh, it's not a new mechanic. The mechanics in the game don't really change, but there's some environmental hazards, which are kind of cool and interesting. And, um,. I don't know, this game just does some really clever, fun, interesting things, in my opinion. That, uh... Ain't nothing revolutionary or anything, but it's certainly... appreciated. Let's yeah, let's go! I'll throw a grenade! Fire There's two of them! Oh! Nice. Oh, I killed one of them? Really? Really? That's disappointing. I was really hoping I would've... Blew them both. No such luck. See you back, buddy. Exposed. Come on. Come on. Come out. Come out, come out wherever you are. I know you're here. There you are. You know what? I'm not wasting my... Uh, I'm getting low on ammunition, so... Enjoy the Magnum. Nice. Magnums are always satisfying. Yeah, I thought this was cool too, because there's enemies along here. It's kind of like needing mobile cover, which is a neat, neat idea. Just keeping my eyes open on both sides for... Ah! You gonna pop out this side, buddy? Come on. Come no, back out here again. Okay. Alright, now. Well, those were all shitty shots by me. Sorry, Marcus, for making you fuck up your uh, reloading there. That was my fault entirely. That was all me. I did not mean to roll there. I meant to snap into... Okay, come on. Come out again, please, pretty please. No, all right, I'll just keep rotating then. Sorry for the sound of button mashing here. Hard to avoid. Uh, these are the Krill, who are most blatantly a uh, rip-off of the... I forget what the name of the creatures were, but they were in that movie Pitch Black, which is a movie that I quite enjoy, actually. Um, Vin Diesel's early filmography. A lot of people think it's kind of a oh, yeah. shit movie, but I like it. 
not just because it's filmed in Australia, although it's nice having a decent science fiction film filmed in Australia, but it's just, I don't know, something about Pitch Black that I think it gets a bad rap when it doesn't need to. I mean, yeah, it follows a lot of genre conventions and doesn't bring that much new to the table, but it's just such an interesting world and Riddick as a character in Pitch Black I find, not so much in the sequels, but in Pitch Black I think he's an interesting character, or he's interesting enough. Come on, come out. Come out of there. Come on. Poke out your stupid head. Do it. What? Around this side now? Okay, well. Oh, it's one of you down. Ah, piss. The active reload, time reload mechanic. Why isn't that. Of all the things people ripped off gears, it was the cover mechanics, which no one else seems to get quite right. I gave him fucking Mass Effect data to min after gears came out, crying out loud. And oh, jeez, do they suck at Mass Effect. I mean, they work okay, but. Oh, actually, my health is worse than I realized. But, um. No one took the act time active time reload, which is the part of the game that I think is what makes gears gears. Oh shit. Um there's a lot of guys here. Okay, I'm going to just shift this over a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh. I guess they're dead now. Anya, we crossed the river. Checkpoint one should be straight ahead. How's it going, Baird? Oh, it's bullshit. Somebody here figured out the cold plate thrash ball. Now it's all, oh, cold train. Tell us all about that play again. And hey, number 83, sign my shirt. Where the hell are you guys? We're working on it. Sit tight. I can still just sit here and just look at the guys visuals and be like, fuck, fuck, that's pretty. This is a pretty game. This is a pretty, a pretty and bleak game. I guess you could call it pretty bleak. <laughs> oh, pun. Okay. Actually, no, your light's broken. Franklin, Santiago. Hey, it's dark now, so you better watch it, man. The crew are probably out by now. Yeah. They are. And they just killed the guys at checkpoint one. Shit. All right, yo, Santiago, man. That means they're coming this way. Johnson, check the lights. Yo, man, you better keep moving. Checkpoint two is up ahead. Got him. That's their way of introducing you to the idea that I uh, don't go into the... Don't go into the shadows, because uh, you will die. Horrible, horrible. Curly death. Um, this is almost survival horror-ish, I guess, in a way. Kind of. It's got tinges of survival horror. I mean, you got these rundown houses you're going through now, and not being able to go into the dark, and certainly doesn't play like sci like a uh, survival horror game during this section. But it's got the mechanics of one, kind of. Thing about this is though, the locusts also can't go into the light. I mean, they 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 can't go into the shadow either. Ironically, even though they're from the uh, the krill from their home, even though the krill and the locust come from the same place, they'll eat, eat the locust just as much. Okay, is this guy? No, nope, I thought he was going to come out into the. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, hiss. I hate you, Marcus. That was my fuck up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, there you go. That's why sometimes it pays to be patient. This is a game about patience. Less and less so as the series progressed. It became more and more about like. Dumb over the top action. Every propane tank you see from now on. You need the light. People out here aren't gonna like that, Marcus. They use that shit. It's either that or they kill us. So we'll do it. Yeah, the sequels definitely became much more about action and set pieces and things like that, but I I love how much more tactical and 
Like, you really need to think through what you're doing with this one. Which is why it's still my favorite. Yeah. Although nobody goes inside a giant worm in this one, which is a little... A little disappointing. Yeah. A giant worm. That was close. But yeah, this stuff where you have to try to make light sources on your way, which... To be fair, I mean, there's no chance of really fucking it up since... Multiple contacts! Since they're just, like, there and they need them to progress. There's not a lot of thought goes into it here, but... Oh, come on, that was a headshot. I think that was a headshot. Can I, can I get his head from here? No, stupid Troik is in the way! This is a tough situation. Thankfully, at this distance, it's not that huge of a threat. Um, hmm. Whoops! Looks like your buddy, buddy went somewhere he shouldn't have. That's a shame. And I hope that guy's dead. Tom said, "Nice. That's a good sign." Is there anyone else around? Looks like it. Yeah, Troikas in the distance aren't so bad. They're pretty... much a non-threat in the distance, they just kind of knock your aim off, but... up close. That's where they're a problem, and the closer I get to it, the more of an issue this is going to become. Next up, we got this one here. I guess this is kind of almost a waste of a... magnum ammunition, but just using it to light these things. <laughs> That's where we want to go. We want to get into here. This is often the case with the Troika. Getting in behind it's the key. And thankfully, there was a car conveniently placed. Alright. Is there anything nasty waiting for us in here? Nope. Good. Dom, did you get eaten by the krill? You did. Should have thrown a grenade. Didn't think of it. Nice. Oh, I thought you must have got eaten by the curl, but you didn't. That's a shame. It's a damn shame. Damn. So I'll make sure there's no like items out here I'm missing. Oh, some grenades. I don't think I need them though. No. Nah. What? Where the fuck did you come from? Tell Bear to shut up and eat. We'll be back soon. Copy that. Damn it, Dom! Just walk through the building. Oh, the wretch opened the door for us. Wasn't that nice of him? The answer is yes. It was nice of him. It was. Oh, let's press this bit. Oh man, this bit, yeah, okay. Alright, um, this bit's pretty tricky, not gonna lie. You can, I think, go through that building and pop out the other side. Um, this is not the right weapon for this situation! I thought I was gonna die there. I panicked. I'm gonna try going through the building and popping around the other side. I get a feeling that might be my safer bet. Well, now I'm starting to think this building might be full of wretches. No, you pick a target, Dom, and stay out of the fucking shadows. Sick of seeing you go down, but if you get shot to death for going out in the somewhere, like, out of cover, that's fine. That's how I died too, but don't be walking into the goddamn shadows like an idiot. Alright. So I've got um, this guy here. Hello? Hello! Why don't you come over here for a minute? I got a little, uh, little something something for- oh, there's two of you. I see. Oh, three of you! And I got your attention. Isn't that nice? 
And you're dead. Isn't that nice? I think it is. Quite nice. Alright, come on. You're dead too. That's the way I like it. And who's this guy? Sir Dead a lot. That's your new nickname. That's my super funny witty joke. Now, from here, well, there's a canister. I guess this is as good a way as any to go. Oh, you were waiting for me to do that so you could come out without dying, you cheeky fucker. That's a shotgun. Definitely not something I want to be close to. Fuck. Okay. Okay, we cleared it out again. We know this time there's going to be a guy with a shotgun coming out of here, so let's uh, get ourselves prepared for that. He was just waiting. Cheeky fucking bastard. He knew we were going to come up here and need to open that. There was a lot less guys doing it this way than when you come around with the... Uh, when you try sniping everyone from the distance, there seems to be a lot more enemies spawn than when you uh, try to flank them, which is... Odd. Very odd choice. Oh, this part. Remember my very first time playing through this game on the Xbox 360. The game glitched out here. So that I couldn't... I couldn't push the, uh... I couldn't push the car. And because I couldn't push the car, there was no way of getting down here without dying. And I thought I was just playing the game wrong. But it was a uh, yeah. In the end, it was definitely a it was definitely a glitch. Come on. All right. Let me go down. Just that's still him. So I got left this Troika man here, who not exactly easy to uh, kill in this situation. Although once we get blood. Hey Dom. You're good there to go. you go, buddy. There you go. That wasn't exactly what I wanted, but whatever, I suppose. Come on. Flying fire. Don't let me down. Oh, that's bad. Dom, you're distracting him. You are. Thank you, Dom. So kind. So generous. Oh, where to? Take the alley to the left of your location. It's pitch black. No way we can get through. Hmm. Not for long. Hey, presto, light! Baird, he's still there. Red man is cold. Bears in the toilet. Listen, these boys are getting serious. They're bringing out the big guns. Something's about to go down for sure. We'll pick you up as soon as we can. Yeah, I think you better. Go now. Alright, so I'm gonna finish this little act, and <laughs> this little chapter of the act, and then call it an episode, I think. Now we've got our <laughs> light source, and we can get down and out of here. Gotta bolt it through here, otherwise you will die. Now... Actually, you know what? I think these houses are used to to hide the loading. Delta, from... this is Control. We're seeing hostiles on our radar near Delta 2's position. Copy that. Are they aware? Affirmative. They are taking defensive action. Copy that. Delta out. Yeah, I think they must be using these little areas to load uh, each individual new area. That would be my assumption. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna clear out this room, and then this will be it for this episode. I think this room has always given me trouble. Every time oh, yeah. I've played it since forever. All right, it's these guys taken care of. Those guys aren't so bad. It's when you come through here, shit starts getting a little more. Now sometimes. It can be done. If I can get this grenade in this hole, that'll help a lot. Oh. Okay, so that's gonna stop the number of guys coming out at least. It's gonna make life a little bit easier. 
If you don't close that hole straight away, this little arena, because there's so much darkness in it, can get very, uh... I mean, like, I made this look easy, but I have struggled in this little encounter area so many times over the years playing this game. Just because I've missed that little, uh... Miss throwing a grenade. That's all it takes. Okay, so now... Uh, I can just come through here. I guess it wants me to do this bit too. Uh. Shit, now what? It's dark everywhere. Look, stay here. Alright, so I'm going to wrap this up here. Thank you for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're enjoying the series. Let me know in the comments below. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day and a fantastic week. I will catch you next time. Peace out. And as always, have a good one!